Okay, hi everybody. So we're here again at Pro Bike, and I'm here with Leonardo, who is going to show us our next thing that we're going to do in the whole Tech Corner series. So we're doing uh, tubeless. The first thing that I always recommend anyone does is turn their wheel tubeless. Why tubeless? The first benefit that you have with tubeless is less weight on the wheel. The second thing that is useful is that with the tubeless system you have a sealant inside okay. that will prevent punctures. Great, okay, so let's get on with it. We're gonna use the Gorilla Tape. Uh, it's one of the tape that you can use for uh, tubeless. It's the easiest one to install. So this, as you see, is really large, but you can cut it and any size you want. So it's, it's kind of like duct tape, but it's a bit better. It's made for bikes in this Yeah, case. it's made for bikes. You can look at the thickness. It's slightly more rigid, slightly thicker, and it's also got slightly um, a different glue on it, so it sticks to the wheels, correct? Yeah. Oops. It also it. sticks to the ground. Yeah. Then we will use some sandpapers. Okay. Like uh, 120 is good. 120 grit. Mastic, okay, uh, tool. This is a yeah, pick tool. Yeah, it's a pick tool. It's lighter, Everybody two tire uh, levers, okay. and then the valve. Okay, the and valve. And then obviously a tire. Yeah. Make sure when you check the tires that those ones have said on it like tubeless ready. In this case, with the Maxis, is a mm. TR. So you know that this can can be put without a tube because okay. some of the tires they cannot be put in without a, uh, without a tube. This is a cross country tire because we're installing it on a cross country rim. This is our reserve uh, rim from Santa Cruz. It's a 25 uh, width rim. Okay. So we will install the tire here. Okay. If you look at the rim, it's got the high of the holes for the spokes, and we need to yeah. close those up. To do. First stage, what we want to do is to clean the inside of the rim. So we will use the sandpaper. Also, if it's a carbon rim, don't don't worry. Remember, preparation is everything. So if you see this uh, has some old sealant on the side, yeah. what I will do is to remove any remains of that. We clean everything here. Yeah. So what we want to do next is to take the rim tape. With this one, we measure what is the inside channel of the, of the rim. So this one is 25. So what we want to do is to have the rim tape that is not 25, but two millimeters wider. So we want uh, the tape to be from one side to the other fully. Okay. And with this one that goes a little bit more inside, it will ha need to have two millimeters more. But this is the best, basically. Well, this is the easiest way to do this. All the ones that are thinner, you need to stretch them more, so it's a little bit tougher to use. So after we cut it, you see, I can, okay. you cut it like 45 degrees. Then you start, just make sure to start from the opposite side of the valve. We Not start this side force. and we're gonna have an yeah. overlap of about six inches. Fair yeah. Enough. So what we want to do, we want to take the rim tape with one hand, yeah. just go on the rim with the other, push with the fingers on the yeah. tape, and then stretch a little bit. As you do this, just move a little bit the tape from one side to the other. So this will allow the tape to sit very nice on the inside of the yeah. rim. I'd love to see what Leo's doing because it gives us all these little tips like moving the tape left and right just to get it positioned right. Something I'd never seen before, so that's great. So we've got an overlap here of about six yeah. to eight inches. Okay. Always 45 degrees. So we'll see. This, you do this because it will sit better on the rim. Yeah. So we don't have any air bubbles on the inside. So we can see now that rim tape is absolutely perfectly in there. Great, okay, cool. So, so now what we want to do, go on the valve and we want to uh, do a little hole to push through the valve. Okay. What we want to do to have a clean cut is to use like this, with a then you go with a lighter, okay. you hit it. See, I didn't know that tip. This is a good one. And then you go straight here. through. See, I don't, may, may, I don't put any pressure in. Yeah. And then you have a good clean cut. 
Then you press the valve through. This is a tubeless valve, classic yeah. one. What we want to do also, and that's why I use mastic, to prevent any type of leaking from that. It's uh, for tubular tires. Okay, this so is mastic. mastic. Okay. You push it a little bit. Okay, so this is a tubular tire yeah. glue. Then you roll the, the valve. Okay. Then you push through. This will allow any type of leaking, leaking to Nothing not be happening. Leak. Yeah. And here we put the O-ring on. Yeah. And then the valve, not like the ring that holds it onto the rim. We take the tire. Make sure to look at the rotation. So every tire has a rotation. Okay. So you can see here, you have the rotation okay. direction. Put the, the writing, so Max's writing, on the same part as the valve. So okay. go like this, you put it on the center. To Where is the up. valve? You don't have any problem because you will see it easily. Yeah. Good because idea. It's, it will always be there. Like for the first part, they always come easily. Yeah. So one thing I've learned over the years of putting tires on, and you can tell me if this is true, yep. is you put the tire in the middle channel. Yeah. So, because the wheel is ever so slightly smaller there, so it gives you the ability more easily to stretch the tire. If you keep the tire on the shoulder of the rim straight away, it, the wheel's bigger there, so it's, it doesn't allow the tire to uh, fit on easily. Mostly with uh, Maxxis tires, uh, if you stretch them too much, what will happen is that the tire will bend. Okay. So to prevent that, use a lot of the hands, and then what I like to do is take both hands and stretch it. Okay. Okay. You can hear a little bit that it is doing some noises. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Okay. So that's useful. It will prevent it from bending. Yeah. So now we put one of the side of the tire on. Okay. What we want to do is put the other side. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is hold the tire like this. Okay. Just slide one side in. Just make sure to start at the valve. Okay. Okay. So you move. Start at the valve. You start to push it. Then we arrive here that it's a little bit tougher to use. Yeah. You want to put the sealant inside. Yeah. So there are two ways of putting the sealant inside. The first one is this one, but you need to be a little, a little bit more precise because you, then you will have to close it while having the, tube, the sealant in. Or otherwise, you close the tire, you remove the valve. The valve core. The yeah. valve core. Yeah. So you just unscrew this and push with a syringe and push with a syringe yeah. on the inside we are using stands this is our two tires sealant okay. so we will put like four ounces okay. in not more than that because it will weigh too much so but right now. move a little bit the sealant because there's some little things inside that helps to yeah. seal the tire so we we'll give it a good shake and then we put it inside okay, let's see how so much is, is this yeah. okay. then we turn it and we start to push the tire in okay you can use just your hands to push the side of the tire on the inside of the rim so you will have more space. Do a little so bit the tire stand. Up. It's got a hook on it which you yeah. just lift over the rim. We're and just do ones. a little by little. So just <coughs> not go. And you're not putting much pressure on there, are you? Yeah, they? just not go like in the middle here. Yeah. Just go on the side and push it. And also notice here, the tire is sitting in the middle of the rim. So we want to do this. Okay. And it's, and it's done. That was easy. That's easy. Yeah. Okay. What we want to do is to use a, how do you say? Compre compressor. Yeah. Compressor. So valve core will, um, if you remove it, it will allow more air to flow through the valve. Okay. So you want to push this in. Pump. Okay. Let the tire go through. So the tire popped onto the rim really yeah. quickly. Okay. So you want to see if it, it's, that is everything is Lined up, yeah. Lined up. Because like here, this is important Line. to see. So here it's not. That's not. A little bit more air. Yeah, just give it a little bit more. Just give a little bit more air. 
and then it will pop by itself. Yeah. As you say. Yeah, now it's moved That on. hop popped, and yeah. also on the other side, yeah. it popped. If you cannot put it, just take some soap, put it on the side of the rim, okay. and slide yeah. it on that way. Yeah. Okay. That's easy. This needs to be closed, and then we do quickly this thing. Okay. And, and now we're done. Okay. We check there is no leaking on the sides. If you're not sure what you're doing, just make sure to go to your, your local bike shop and make them do the work. Yeah. The last thing, you yeah. have the tire. You want to put the sealant on every side of the tire. Just make sure to <coughs> run the tire so it will go to the sides. Yeah. Well, I think that I like to do is like to do this thing. Okay. So the liquid move, will move inside the tire. Oh, you're making the, the sealant jump? Yeah, so you make the sealant jump and then just go shake a little bit and it will go to every side. Also use as little as you can tire levers. Yeah. They will Bend prevent, the yeah, a little bit, but yeah. that's a problem of some, of some tires, but mm -hmm. if you pay attention to do those things, mm -hmm. it will not happen. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Leo. Thanks for Thank uh, showing us that. And we'll have a look next time. We're gonna do something on how to fix a puncture on the trail. Yeah. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and we'll see you soon on the next episode. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Bye.